Hello and welcome to MWC 2022, where there are lots of discussions around the new challenges created by the grid. To address them, I am joined by Rajesh Gadia, he's Vice President, CTO, Network Platforms Group at Intel, and Kanis Mahdi, who is Vice President, Distributed Edge, Office of the CTO at VMware. Rajesh, Kanis, thank you for joining us. Rajesh, I have mentioned some of the challenges linked to the grid. They include compute, security, storage, or even networking. So tell us about the solutions you have developed at Intel to address them. Yeah, so first of all, it's a real pleasure to be here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona after a couple of years. And it's also great to be in front of the VMware booth um, and uh, partnering with Kaniz, my friend, on uh, the Open Grid Alliance. And, uh, you know, uh, there's been a a lot of nice buzz here at MWC about 5G, and of course 5G is a great technology, but what it's really enabling is edge computing. And so um, if you look at the modern, the, the new age applications, um, it's autonomous driving or video related services, immersive media, they all require lower latency, higher performance, and uh, an element of quality of service. And so from an Intel perspective, the best way to actually deliver that is to bring the cloud experience closer to where the application is, which is what we call edge. And there are actually three key tenants in terms of how you deliver that. It's about composability, it's about automation, and it's about the ability to support heterogeneous computing. And so from an Intel perspective, of course, we want to actually provide the best hardware building blocks to be able to deliver that. It's the best computing, our CPUs, it's about the accelerators that are required for these applications, such as the radio access network. Um, it's about the programmability with our FPGAs, and it's about that high performance networking with uh, our ethernet and um, you know, technologies like silicon photonics. But beyond that, we are also actually working on the software layers, disaggregating software, and being able to provide network applications with uh, in a cloud native fashion with Kubernetes and container based technology. And all of this is actually going to be super critical in terms of how we enable uh, edge computing. Um, and so yeah, so it's, it's, um, uh, these are the kind of things that we are looking to deliver as Intel to be able to not only deliver the connectivity and to enable 5G, but it's also actually how we enable applications and marrying the best of compute and communications together at the edge. Kanit, tell us about what you're doing at VMware to address some of the challenges and issues linked to the grid? Very good question, Charlotte. I think, uh, thank you very much to Rajesh for aligning us with the vision. Uh, Rajesh and I, we've been working together in the, in the industry in many other forums, and it's uh, delighted to have them onboarded with OGA. Um, he brings up the, uh, the issue of complexity, and the complexity arises from the very different nature of the edge. Uh, it's basically, it enables distribution of applications, it brings together heterogeneity, and it distributes the workloads um, at multiple geographical locations. So the distribution and heterogeneity are the two challenges which result in complexity. Now if you take a deeper look at heterogeneity and, 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 and distribution, and if you look at VMware, we, with our virtualization in our DNA and abstraction in our DNA, that's basically our forte, bringing heterogeneous entities together in a distributed logical construct is what VMware core value is, and that's how we are establishing the foundation for the OGA. So the underpinning platform for the OGA will be based on hypercomposed applications. And hypercomposed applications are basically uh, not, does not rely on the edge to be in one static location, does not rely on the compute or the connectivity fabric to be provided by one particular provider. It's basically bringing in the right amount of resources with the right type in the right place at the right time as and when needed by the application driven by the SLA of the application. So it's in the dynamism of how I create the application, it's in the fungibility of the edge, how I distribute it, and the optimization across multiple providers enabling those applications is how we address the complexity. Kanis, let's fast forward in five to 10 years. How do you see enterprises interacting with the grid to run workloads? 
yeah, I wish I had the crystal ball to, to look beyond um, five, uh, five to 10 years. Uh, but if you were to ask me what would be the ultimate end ambition with the grid, the grid basically should be able to connect multiple connectivity elements all around the globe in a homogenous fabric. Uh, just like you have the utility plumbing coming, the water utility is coming to my home and I turn on the faucet and the water flows. Um, I would like connectivity and compute to, be, to become a commodity and utility in the same sense. I, as an application developer or a consumer as an enterprise, have a need to stitch an application and I flip a button and I get the container on which to host the workload. Simple as that. So that's the ambition. Uh, we are fortunate to have uh, partners like Intel, uh, Dell Technologies, Vapor.io, that will be providing different elements of the glue that brings these connectivity and compute elements together in a logical construct that distributes across the globe. So that's the vision. Denise, thank you very much. And Majesh, thank you so much. Thank you.